Hey guys, Corey Scott here. I want to talk to you about a few things. I mean, small things that you can do that will have a big impact on your life and even save your life. You know, I might even put a tag on this talk and say they, they are little life-saving measures, little life-saving measures. And that's kind of an oxymoron because you think, okay, if they're life-saving uh, measures, how in the world could they ever be little? Let me tell you. So I think about this too because of, you know, our dear brother, uh, Tyree Nichols, young man that was tragically killed by Memphis Police Department, was laid to rest yesterday. And I was looking at some of the commentary, looking at some of the stuff on social media that people were saying. <clears throat> and of course, we now know that one, it sounds like they, there wasn't even a, a real reason to stop the young man. But what we do know from the studies and from the numbers is that, unfortunately, a lot of these fatal police encounters that people have, they start with a routine, what should be routine, a routine stop. In other words, a traffic stop. In other words, something relatively minor. In other words, we're not talking about people that are getting stopped for major felonies or bank robbers, etc. Because we understand that those can escalate and those may start at a very high level. But we're talking about small things, you know, expired, expired plates, tail light not working, uh, not having your plates properly uh, displayed, you know, that type of thing. And, and so those are the things that I'm talking about. So one of the things that we know and we understand is that you, you greatly increase your odds of not having a situation or not being in some type of fatal encounter with the police if you never have the encounter in the first place. And so these are the small things that we can do. And number one is just make sure that you, you have a valid license, that your plates are correct, that you don't have the wrong plates on your car. In other words, you don't have plates that belong to another car on your car because these are the minor things that will cause police to stop you. And then once you get stopped, you know, all bets are off. We've seen situations to where in a routine stop, officer tells the person, hey, I need your license and your registration. Person reaches to get their registration and gets shot because the, the police got jumpy, they got afraid. They weren't thinking, oh, I just told this person to do this. They're thinking that the person's reaching for a weapon discharges their weapon so we know that there's no such thing as a real routine stop so things like that making sure your plates are correct making sure your plates match the car making sure that you display your plates in the right place i know that in indiana there's a certain place to where you know it shouldn't be in your back window there's certain things that shouldn't be covering it it should be, you know, readily displayed. You want to make sure that your license plate lights are working. You know, sometimes that can cause them to stop you because it's at night. They want to see your place and they can't see them. So they stop you because they can't see. Small stuff like that. But think about it. If those things are done and you never have the encounter, you don't have to worry about having some fatal situation happen. Now, of course, I'm not saying that by doing these little life-saving measures that you can completely inoculate yourself from a police encounter. But listen, every little bit counts. Even if we decrease the odds by a little bit, it may save your life. Because that one time when you didn't get stopped because you had all these things in place, that might have been the time when an officer was going through something. That might have been the time to where... You know, something could have jumped off. Little life-saving measures. Just think about things that you can do to make sure that you don't get stopped on some small, minor thing that leads to a bigger thing. Think about it. Little life-saving measures. Put these things in place. Do the small things. It can have a big impact. And the life that you save, it may be your own. This is Corey Scott. If this has been helpful, please reach out to me. Let me know. Pass it along to someone. Let them know 
And if you need me, call me. If you need me, email me. If you need me, get in touch with me. But until the next time we talk, remember, if you have to be guilty of anything, be guilty of greatness. Take great care.